You can set your default work hours and locations and based on feedback from users, you can now change your location for any dates in new Outlook and Teams. You and your colleagues will see icons in the scheduling assistant as well as the profile cards. However, for classic Outlook users, you can see the icons in the calendar only, but you will not see it in the profile. And the default hours are managed only in New Outlook. So as you can see on my screen, here are the icons, right? I will see this is for in the office or this is working remotely. You can easily get there by two ways. One, I could click on the icons. That's the reason why you want to show it on your calendar. You can now just click on settings and it will take you there. Here, again, we are setting our default hours on what days and the hours. If you need to add, you can easily come here and specify the time and specify office and hit save. If you manage multiple accounts, you can also switch accounts and make these changes as well. But there is a catch. Let me close the screen. As you can see in my calendar, Teresa is the primary account and I'm gonna go ahead, her calendar is in green. Adele, I have selected, she's in red. But these icons are associated with the primary account only. So that's a big watch out. Microsoft has received um, some feedback around that and you may see um, this change in the future. But I want you to be aware of that. I have jumped over to Outlook for the Web because I want to show you in Adele's account, here are her work locations. These are the icons that represents her default hours. Now I can change the location. Click easily click here and just say up. Oh, I will be in the office during those hours and notice that change has reflected just for that day only. I jumped over into Teams because you can change your work location in Teams, but you only can do it for today. You cannot set your location for future dates in Teams. And how do you do that? Just click up here on your profile picture, set work location, and you can make that change. Again, only for today. I now have an email open and I want to show you what the profile card looks like when it comes to work hours and location. I'm going to click on Adele because I'm still in as Adele. I can see, you know, any meetings and um, it will show her location. If as Adele, I want to see where Nestor is located, I can click on his profile. Again, it's letting me know that he is working um, remotely. So this is really nice in your profile. Work hours and location works hand in hand with suggested find times and scheduling assistant. Let me show you some of the new changes. Let's go ahead and create a new event and let's invite Nestor. So notice that with the find a time, remember in the past, suggested times would already be listed here. They had made that change that now you actually have to click on it to see the times. Also make note that they are showing you if they are available on the different times. So let's click on scheduling assistant. Here's a new change. They have added up here at the top, if I wanna change this date, I can easily do that now right from the scheduling assistant. I think this is really nice ad here. Again, they're gonna show you people's availability, if they're available and their location. If you don't see an icon here, that means that Alex have not set up his work 
hours and location and here's an opportunity to show him how to do so again for external people you will not see an icon now go work your magic